Hey guys, this is Upesh from Beyond.com and it's been some time since we did the whole vintage BWOM style new Android apps video. So let's change that today. Today I'm going to tell you the coolest new Android apps that you should be using on your phone right away. So let's start. Android 12 has introduced a useful new privacy dashboard feature and the app I'm talking about brings the same functionality to every other Android device with the exact same name. Yes, the app is called Privacy Dashboard and just like the Android 12 feature, it shows you a log of when apps have used the different important permissions, be it the location, camera or the mic. I can also tap on a specific permission like the location option here to see a timeline of which apps have used this permission when. Same with the other permissions. Now, look, I think this is a great app because we all know Android 12 is still a long time away. And in fact, a lot of older devices won't get the update. So this app brings a very important feature to everyone. And by the way, the app also brings you privacy indicators. So Opera's new gaming browser called Opera GX recently arrived on Android and it's actually a very interesting browser. Now let me just clear this. Opera GX is called the gaming browser because if you look at its homepage, you get this really nice release calendar for all the big games, be it on console, PC, mobile, Nintendo Switch, etc. There's also info about free games you can play, new upcoming and interesting games, game deals, game trailers, and news and stories around games. Now this is all cool, but the MyFlow feature in the Opera GX is pretty useful. It lets you send links, images, and notes between your phone and your PC in a very simplified manner. Apart from that, the browser has different gaming specific themes, which I think look cool. There's also a fast action button for navigation, which really makes switching between tabs very easy. It also has other features like cryptocurrency mining protection, pop-up blocking, and more. So iOS 15 brought this notification summary feature, which kind of combines all promotional and unnecessary notifications. Well, Sprint Notification Manager does a similar job on Android. With Sprint, you can choose which app notifications you want to see in the notification center, like your messages or other important notifications. Now, the apps you don't choose will have the notifications tagged in in Sprint in a sort of summary, and you just can take a look at them whenever you want. This way, your notification center is not cluttered with promotional notifications. Apart from that, you can also check the notification history in the app, and I like the feature which automatically copies any OTP. It's super handy. So I'm pretty sure you relate to this. So I'm someone who uses my phone a lot. And sometimes when I'm just using my phone, I just go on an endless scroll, especially in Instagram and Reddit. And yeah, I just get addicted and I just keep doing it for a long, long time. And that really wastes my time. Now that's where MindLeak comes in super handy. So this app tells you when you have used an app for too long, aka when you have had a MindLeak. Now this is handy for apps like Instagram. So as you can see, I can set the trigger for Instagram. I'm gonna go with 10 minutes. Now, when I've used Instagram continuously for 10 minutes and I've been just endlessly scrolling, the app will show me a GIF like this, telling me I have had a mind leak. Yeah, it's super handy because I then realized that I've been doing this for 10 minutes now. Yeah, mind leak is just super useful. So with Android 12, Google finally gave some attention to widgets and I'll be honest, some of these widgets look really cool. Well, you can actually get these Android 12 widgets on any Android smartphone right now. See, for the Android 12 Clock Widgets, it's pretty simple. This app called Android 12 Clock Widgets, pretty aptly, brings most of the cool new clock widgets that we've seen in Android 12. And you can just add any one of these widgets very quickly. But if you want the other widgets, like say the new calendar widget or the weather widget, you'll have to get KWGT Pro that costs 99 rupees. And you'll also have to install Android 12 widgets for KWGT Pro that costs 30 rupees. Don't worry, I'll leave all the links in the description. Now, once you've installed both of these apps, you can just use KWGT Pro to add these cool Android 12 widgets on your home screen. Now, I know KWGT can get a little confusing, so we have a step-by-step -step guide for the same that you can check out below. Now, this is a super useful app if you want better battery life from your Android smartphone. It basically makes Android's DOS system a lot better. So for people who don't know, when you don't use your phone for a long duration of time, Android's DOS system kicks in and restricts your CPU usage in the background as well as restricting network activity in apps. Well, nap time just makes sure that the device goes into this DOS mode sooner. So as you can see, it has this aggressive DOS option, which will make sure your phone goes into DOS in a few minutes once you stop using your phone. Now you can keep this on or schedule it to turn on at the night or, you know, anytime else. 
I've been using this and I've noticed almost a 20% increase in my screen on time and even the night battery drain is a lot lesser. So yeah, I think you should check out Naptime. So you know how on iOS the dark mode automatically dims the wallpaper? Well, this open source app called Dark Mode Live Wallpaper brings that exact same feature and more to Android. So here's how it works. As you can see, I have this wallpaper for daytime and it's normal, it's cool. And when I turn on the dark mode, the same wallpaper gets a dimmer look. Now this works with all types of wallpapers and there's also the option to have this on the lock screen. Plus you can use this app to set a different wallpaper for the light mode and a different wallpaper for the dark mode. So you have, you know, different wallpapers for different modes. It's pretty cool. Well, those are some really cool, really new Android apps that you should be using on your Android smartphone right away. And all the download links are in the description down below. So go ahead, check it out and make sure to give this video a like, share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.